Hi guys, Chris here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the books that I read between September 15th and September 21st. First up, I read The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series. As this is the second book in a series, I can't get into too many of the details. I will say we are following different characters than we were in the first book in the series. I gave this book four stars. The plot of this book is very similar to the first book. However, following different characters gives the book a whole different feel. I really liked the new characters that we got to know in this book. Again, it was nice to see some familiar faces from the Percy Jackson series. I think between The Lost Hero and The Son of Neptune, things are set up quite nicely for the rest of the series. Next up, I read Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This book is set in the year 2380. It's the night before future Captain Tyler is set to put together his team. He can't sleep, so he sets out to fly around in space for a bit to try and calm his mind. While there, he ends up coming across a ship that's been lost for centuries. He ends up going on board and rescuing Aurora, who's been in cryo sleep. She is the only person on the ship left alive. He brings her back at great risk to himself. Because he's spending time getting checked out by the medical staff, he ends up missing the draft. And he isn't exactly thrilled with the team he ends up with. This is compounded when he and his team set out on their first mission and things go sideways and they all have to learn to rely on each other despite not being thrilled about being together. I gave this book 4.5 stars. I loved this book. It has such a colorful cast of characters. One of the things that drew me to this book was the description of Tyler's teammates. A cocky diplomat with a black belt and sarcasm, a sociopath scientist with a fondness for shooting her bunkmates, a smart ass tech whiz with the galaxy's biggest chip on his shoulder, an alien warrior with anger management issues, and a tomboy pilot who's totally not into Tyler in case you were wondering. I loved getting to see each of these characters with their distinct personalities starting to slowly mesh together and become a team. This is despite the fact that none of them really want to be working together and they don't always agree on what they should be doing. It feels like there is so much more to be told with this story and I can't wait to read the next book and find out what is going to happen to this crew and where the choices they make will take them next. Next up, I read Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Scarlet has dreamed of going to Caraval for years. After years of writing to Legend, Caraval's organizer, he finally writes her back and sends her tickets so that she, her fiance, who her father has arranged for her to marry and she has never met, and her sister Talia can go to Caraval. With the help of a sailor Scarlet just met, her and her sister sneak away from their cruel father and head to Caraval. Once there, however, Legend takes Talia as this year's performance revolves around her. Scarlet must then play the game to find her sister. I listened to this on audiobook, and it was a bit hard for me to get into as the voice actor for this book is also the voice actor for the Lunar Chronicles, which coincidentally also has a character named Scarlet. That meant it took me a bit to stop picking picturing the Scarlet from the Lunar Chronicles and picture this Scarlet instead. That being said, once I did get into it, this book flew by. I like that in Caraval, you could never be sure what was real and what isn't, and Scarlet never knew who to trust, not even herself. I did have issues with the ending though. That bothered me. There were just some things I didn't like about it, and that caused me to drop the rating a bit. I really did like the world, however, and thought that Stephanie Garber did a great job bringing it to life. Another issue I had was that I wasn't as invested with the characters as I thought I should be, as they didn't feel as fleshed out as the world. Hopefully, in the next book, they become more well-rounded characters. Lastly, I read The Unicorn Quest by Camilla Banco. Sisters Sophie and Claire, along with their parents, are at their aunt's house for the summer after she disappeared and the contents were left to them. While they're clearing it out, the sisters find a ladder that leads them to another world. 
They are quickly scared and head back to their own world, while vowing to never return. Then one day, Claire disappears, and Sophie knows that Claire has broken her promise and gone back up the ladder, so Sophie has no choice but to go after her. I gave this book 3.25 stars. I liked this book, but not as much as I thought I was going to. I had been expecting to see a lot of Sophie's relationship with Claire, but we spent most of the book following Sophie's search for Claire. I thought that the world was well built and the magic system was well explained. I love that despite being scared, Sophie pushed through all that to find her sister. I'm really hoping we get to see more of their relationship in the next book. Here are some of the books that I've read recently. If you've read any of these books, feel free to come talk to me in the comments below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!